Welcome my sweetest and kindest people out there. Welcome to beautiful and vibrant Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan. Oh man, looking at this footage, I remember not knowing what day or night of the week it was because all I remember was jet lag, food and Taipei's incredible nightlife. Taipei welcomed us with a very strong rain for the first few days, but to be honest, somehow that strong rain was just so charming and beautiful those first few days i only remember us waking up at weird times because of jet lag and spending every wake hour walking around the city eating so much good food it's a uh, food life you guys in taiwan it's another game it's something else we love whenever Taipei turned into nighttime because the streets were full with people walking around, families being out. And when I talk about nightlife, I mean just like people being outdoors, eating, shopping, doing just their thing. It was such a beautiful experience. I've never seen a place where nightlife is that prominent and I loved it so much. Whenever I'm somewhere new, I need some time to adjust to that place. And sketching is always quite difficult for me because I'm so overwhelmed with everything else. You know, like a new language, a new culture, new food culture. My head is literally so busy all the time with these new impressions that sketching and making art is not that easy for me. One day in Taipei, while I was awake super early because of jet lag, I finished the sketch that I started at the airplane of all my art supplies that I brought with me for this one month travel through Taiwan. This type of sketch where I create this type of inventory of everything I have is something that I really love to do when I start a new travel sketchbook. And by the way, I'm already back in Germany from my one month travel and looking back at everything that I took with me, I'm actually very happy about my selection of art supplies. I packed a few drawing supplies like pencils, fine liners, my trusty Lamy fountain pen and everything that I packed was something that I knew I enjoyed working with, something that I'm comfortable with and I would definitely recommend you if you ever travel and want to pack up some art supplies with you to draw and sketch while being in a new place. Take art supplies with you that you know you love to use and are also versatile for different styles because that way you really don't have to figure out how that art supply is working, that pen is working, that color is working. You for sure can just focus on sketching. I also packed fewer art supplies with me because I knew for sure that I would 100% go to all types of art supply stores I could find in Taiwan and I knew for sure that I would buy a few of them and I did. I also changed my watercolor palette before leaving home because I brought some new watercolors and I took out a few colors that I never used in my palette and I have to say that I'm very pleased with all the colors I took with me. You will see over all these upcoming videos how I used them, what colors I used and I'm very happy with them. Also another way you can start your sketchbook 
is to just glue in anything you collect while traveling you know like a sticker some stamps your train tickets a business card of your favorite restaurant or whatever you like to put into that you can also use your sketchbook as a form of diary you know just writing down your thoughts and experiences I'm someone I just love to express myself through sketches but you can use a sketchbook for basically anything the most beautiful part Part is when you come back home and you see everything you've collected and you have one place where you have all these memories that you can look back on. Starting from scratch Brick by brick No path carved out for us now The brush is thick All I'm asking now Don't give up By the way, in this video, as you can see, I'm not really talking to the camera because I already mentioned I'm so mentally overwhelmed being at a new place for the first few days and I didn't thought about taking my tripod with me whenever I was outside. But thank you to my sweet husband for filming me whenever I was just sketching. But don't worry, the upcoming videos you will see I warm up and I get more comfortable being in Taiwan and you will see me more on screen than in this video. For health, for richer, for poor. I meant every word that I told you before. <laughs> Our favorite activity whenever we travel is for sure to walk. Because like whenever we walked, we saw the most amazing things, we had the best experiences and something that we discovered while walking through Taipei was this wedding venue. Like there were people sitting outside underneath this tent, they had food, they sang karaoke, like you could hear the guests singing miles away, just singing from their heart and we loved it so much. All the guests were dressed quite casually and I really loved it. And and I started a sketch while watching the wedding and I finished it off in our room.
On our last day in Taipei, I really wanted to sketch that building in front of our window because I love, love, love these buildings in Taipei and I especially love that top part with the tree on top, like how? does that tree grow there um, but honestly that sketch didn't turn out that well you'll see because I was under some time pressure I only had like 15 minutes before we checked out out of our room in Taipei but now looking back I'm so grateful that I did that sketch because even though I know it's not my strongest sketch I personally have a connection to it like when you do something when you sketch something you will have it forever with you and you'll be the one remembering remembering that moment you created that piece of art and I will forever remember how I sketched this before leaving Taipei and while being under a lot of time pressure and that's what I really love about making art honestly it doesn't matter if your artwork turns out good or bad the only thing at the end of the day that really matters is that you have a new memory that you can look back on and you will smile like there's no sketch that I ever did good or bad that doesn't make me smile because I remember the exact moment I did that and it's magic and I hope you also allow yourself to create bad art in your sketchbook because it all matters at the end For joining me on these few days in Taipei. I wish you a beautiful week. May the sun be always in your heart. May you shine. May you smile a lot. I'm deeply grateful that you joined me today. I'm gonna see you next week. Till then take care and I love you.